You know, it's so cold outside, that's a great reason to stay in on Valentine's Day. And we are all in luck because our next guest can help us all plan the Valentine's menu. That is right. She is beautiful and Tangi is joining us now. Of course, it's Tangi Patton with Good Taste TV is back with her takeout picks and a quick date night pasta recipe. You always look fabulous. Welcome back. Hey guys, welcome back. I've got on the thickest sweater I own. I don't think we've had this kind of cold weather here, maybe ever for this long. It's crazy, right? Well, enjoy it while it lasts. And uh, you and your husband, yeah. Mike, you're going to cozy up on Valentine's Day. What's on the menu? What are you teaching us how to make today or pick up? Okay, well, you've got two choices now. And obviously, uh, picking up and taking out at home is not a bad idea. Or I'm going to show you a cool dish you can make at home. But we've got some great things. So um, I picked three menus around town. There's all kinds of great menus at the restaurants around town doing a Valentine's to go menu. So I'm going to start out with BB Italia. And these menus are great because they offer such a variety. It's not just about one dish. So BB Italia has literally three, four different courses on the thing. $85 a person. That's the beautiful Asobuco mm. house-made raviolis. It's just delicious. If you know BB Italia, you know the food is fantastic. The chef there is incredibly talented. It's $85 uh, for that dinner. So that's a good one, too. And then another one, if you're out in the Woodlands area, the Range, the Range Steakhouse and Bourbon Bar. This place has a really cool vibe. I don't know if you guys have had a chance to get out there yet, but I highly suggest it. And it's got some great food, too. Now, they're doing a takeout menu, and it's amazing. Look at that. You're going Beautiful. to have a lobster bisque. Delicious. And then you've got a filet Oscar. Now, look at that. It's topped with jumbo lump crab meat and a chocolate dome filled mm. with this delicious cream cheese cheesecake. Such delight. And this comes with a bottle of wine. So at the Refuge Steakhouse, you're looking at $140 for takeout for two. So that's one heck of a deal. It's actually kind of nice too, Tangi. One of and my very sorry. favorite French stuffs. <laughs> sorry to wow. jump in and interrupt. I was just going to say, it's nice when you have the set menu because then there are no surprises on the bill. How many times do you go yes. out for dinner and suddenly $400 later, it's like, oh, well, this was a nice night out, but it wasn't supposed to be that nice. No, you know? I think the, the great thing about these to-go menus is they've done so much, you know, the work is done for you. Um, so really, it's just a matter, all you have to do is light a candle and show up, you know, pop open the cork on a bottle of wine and you're there. I love it. My kind of takeout for sure. Let's talk about your third pickup from Etoile. Yes, I adore Etoile over uh, in Uptown Park. Such a talented chef and it's exquisite French food. And I, their menu is an incredible, uh, if you're into French food, you'll know, incredible deal. They're offering a beautiful arugula salad. That's the gorgeous uh, tenderloin with truffle mashed potatoes. The vegetables they serve there are always cooked just perfect, so colorful. And then they do a beautiful salmon tartare uh, with little baby cucumbers. This one is $78 a person. And let me tell you, all of these menus have choices. So I picked some of the highlights from the menus, but if you don't like steak, you can do a different entree, you know, there, or just pasta. There are lots of ways to enjoy these menus. Absolutely. Okay, so you've also got your pick of something to make at home, Tangi's pasta with red wine ragu. Yes, this is such a delicious dish so it's a ragu so you're going to cook the sauce low and slow but it's super easy to do so basically you're going to start out with of course the holy trinity put a little olive oil in a in a nice stock pot and it's the, the celery the onions the carrots right you start with all the basics and you're going to use the garlic where we've got it going on right there add the celery right there make a little space for a lot of garlic a whole lot of garlic <laughs> and then i've added a little bit of fennel seeds which gets nice and aromatic and some red pepper flakes you start cooking that, that down so that the onions kind of get translucent the flavors all kind of get to know each other and once that's there you add a pound of hamburger and a pound of ground pork you want to let that meat get nice and brown you want it definitely to have some color so don't rush it and then you're going to put a little bit of tomato paste in the well you've created there in the middle. Let that tomato paste set five, six, seven minutes. You want it to get a little toasty and caramelized. It just richens and deepens the flavor. Mm. Then you are going to add an entire bottle of wine to this sauce. 
No wonder it I like it. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but it's fantastic. An entire bottle of wine. And you want to pick a wine that doesn't have a lot of tannins. So think maybe a Chianti, uh, maybe a Merlot, something a little um, less stringent than maybe something with tannins because you're going to cook it down. It takes about two hours for the wine to cook down. And then you're going to add some tomatoes to it. Uh, I added a, an herb sachet of fresh sage, uh, rosemary, thyme, and just walk away. Let it cook and simmer and percolate and just fill your home with all these amazing aromas. And it takes about two hours, two and a half hours, and then you've got the pasta. I also like to do it. You can use rigatoni as your pasta. You know, the sauce has a lot of meat chunks in it and tomato. Mm -hmm. So you want a pasta that's going to hold on to it. These are kind of fun. You can find them at, I know Central Market usually has them. Specialty stores may have them. H-E-B may have them. Uh, they're called calamara, calamarata. Think of a calamari that's been cut and this is what they resemble, but they're just large ringlets and they really make for a pretty kind of special look to the pasta, something a little different. I, I always like to use a different pasta, something fun and out of the ordinary on a special occasion. This is such a beautiful, hearty, perfect meal for, for cold, cold weather. weather. It smells it's so perfect, good too. Right? You it's can delicious. eat it the next day, the next. You know, what I like to do with it is just use a little bit of the sauce with pasta at a time. And then the next night when you're going to serve it again, mm -hmm. cook another little fresh batch of the pasta and mix it with more of the sauce. That way the flavors just get better and better every day. And the pasta itself is fresh every time you cook it to add the sauce to it. We're going to try this this weekend. I'm going to use the Beyond Meat. You can it's make a so veggie good. version. Hey, Tangie, before we let you go to enjoy your Valentine's weekend, talk to us about this wine that you brought us today. We started the show sipping this Prosecco, this Josh Rosé yeah. Prosecco. It's delicious. It's fantastic. Guys, this is new to the market. So this is the Josh Rosé. They all also have a regular Prosecco, but this one is new and it's from Prosecco. It is delightful. It is exactly what you want a Prosecco to be, right? It's not overly sweet. It's dry, yet there's fruit on the palate and it's got a beautiful acidity. So I just love it. And it's less than $15 a bottle. So it's one heck of a, a deal too. And then the other one is a Lambrusco. So this is fun as well. This is the Lenny 910 Lambrusco Scuro. The Scuro is a drier uh, production. They also do a Lambrusco made by that producer that is more fruit forward. This one's very fruit forward, but it's very dry. And it pairs beautifully with the dish we just made. It, it goes with a lot of things because it's got a lot of acidity to it as well, but you get a lot of the fruit. It's an interesting wine. It is. Typically, a Lambrusco is very sweet. Yes. And I would agree, right. it is very fruit forward, but it's more on the tart side. It is not sweet at all. And I didn't realize it had a little bit of uh, effervescence in it. I was confused yeah. because I saw the red wine in the flute. Didn't pay attention to what was being poured. It's there lovely. Are in here, for sure. No, Tangy you want to serve that one chill. This one that um, you wouldn't, no, you could put it in a flute if you want to, but the wine glass is very common and just put a little bit of a chill on it. And it's just, it's really a lovely wine. It's a really good food pairing wine. It is indeed. Tangi, we'll leave it there, but thanks so much for spending part of your day with us and happy Valentine's Day to you and Mike. Happy Valentine's Day, guys. Cheers. 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 And you can watch Tangi's show, Good Taste TV with Tangi, Good Taste with Tangi, weekday mornings right here, weekend mornings right here on KPRC2. You can set your DVRs for 5.30 a.m. That's right.